Welcome to Modern Art Blitz. My name is Matt Gleason. I'll be your host for an hour of discussing the best, brightest, and most brilliant in contemporary art in and around Los Angeles. My I've got a bunch of guests today. My first guest, Christine Rasmussen. How you doing? Hi, I'm welcome, great. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Modern so Art Blitz. Thanks for having me. So, um, do you consider yourself primarily a painter? I do. But, yes. are, but if I said, if I had introduced you as painter, Christine Rasmussen, or artist, what do, you, what do you prefer? I actually kind of go by painter. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Okay, that's very painterly of you. <laughs> um, so, so we are in a painting of yours now, and it's kind of a nice interior. It, 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 yeah. it really matches, it really goes <laughs> great with the, what, what, uh, what are we looking at here? Um, so this is one of my paintings called Bossy, and it's from a series I have called Flawless that's about um, refusing to apologize for femininity, recognizing that pretty isn't weak. So Ooh. that's kind of a mouthful, but I <laughs> pretty isn't weak. Yes. People see pretty as a weakness, kind of a submission. You don't. I don't No. Um, I actually grew up in three different countries and I think women are always kind of judged for somehow they look before anything else. And I kind of wanted to play with that idea that, you know, what, what countries did you grow up in? Um, Pakistan, Vietnam, and the U S. Wow. Yeah. Were you born in Pakistan? I was, yes. You were born in, are, do, you have, do you have a <laughs> Pakistani citizenship? No, I don't. You don't? Full American citizenship. You're full American citizenship. Mm -hmm. And you were there, be, you are a military brat? No, uh, actually my dad's in public health um, development work, so. Oh, saving lives. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. And so you were just along for the ride, and then you went to Vietnam? Uh-huh. Wow, that's, I mean, those, th those cultures are pretty divergent. They are, yeah, And yeah, in the absolutely. U.S. kind of, man, that's great perspective. And so, and you've seen women in a variety of, of roles then? Yes, yeah. I mean, it's really different going from, you know, Pakistan where it's mostly Muslim and it's about women covering up. And then in Vietnam, they have like the communism thing, right? So it's kind of like everyone sort of looks the same in some ways. And then you come to the U.S. and it's about like not covering up. So wow. very different, okay. different Three very ways distinct of looking things. at it. Yeah. So pretty is... Wait, pretty is strong? How, how, how do you say it? I say pretty isn't weak. Pretty is not weak. Yeah. Great. Um, so I do these uh, disembodied dresses, and uh, I wanted to take out the figure so you can't judge the woman who's in it, either by her race or age or, you know, weight or whatever. Um, and then I try and make them, like, in powerful poses. It's so. just the fabric and the, I mean, the style of the dress. Uh -huh. And it's assertive. Yes. Um, so, and is this... How big is this piece? Actually, this one's sort of small. It's only 12 by 12 inches. Record album. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> um, so great. Christine Rasmussen, greatest hits. No. <laughs> so, so uh, and this is oil or acrylic? Um, this one's both. So uh, some of the background is acrylics, but mostly it's oils on top. Can you, can, you can paint oil on acrylic, but not acrylic on oil? That's or correct. How, wait, oil can oil go on acrylic. Oil has to go on top of the acrylic. Acrylic yeah. can never go on oil because it can just peel off. Is that it? Yeah, it's kind of, you know how like um, oil rises in water, oh. so over time it'll like pop it'll off. It'll kind of just push it off. Oh, yeah. yikes. Okay, yeah. So. Oh, and okay, here so. we are. And this is another uh, uh, posing dress. Yes, another one from the same series. This one's called Walking Away. Are they all the same size? Is it all? It all uh... um, mostly, yes. They're mostly 12 by 12s. Uh -huh. and, and now, you've never been back to Pakistan or Vietnam, have you? Um, I have. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, I went back to Pakistan in 2007 was the last time I've been there. Wow. Um, but I haven't been back to Vietnam. Do they Homeland Security question you? Why are you going? Uh, kind of. Um, they don't question me as much as my brothers. It's interesting. Oh, really? Now, do, <laughs> yeah. you, do, you, uh, do you have to wear a hijab when you're there? Uh, it depends on where I am. Sometimes I do cover my head, but it just you know, depends which Some part places of the are a little more in. like, yeah. okay, okay. And I definitely wouldn't wear sleeveless there. Oh, really? Oh, Is yeah. that, that's a big deal? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll show them. Okay, so, uh, and, and what year what, did you start this series? Um, officially in 2014. 2014. Mm -hmm. are, you, and are you done with it? Or are you still working on it? Ooh, good question. I'm actually, I feel like I'm moving on to the next version. So, so, so. do you find the, the clothes? Is this like your wardrobe? Or do you, how do you find the, war, the specific dress you're going to use? Oh, um, no, it's not my wardrobe. Um, mostly I'm looking online, actually. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, so I wanted to find, um, I mean, in this case, I was looking for specifically a Chinese dress. I was starting to do um, dresses from different countries. But with, like, the last image we saw and I think the next one we'll see is um, 
I was looking for clothes that have movement in them. Uh -huh. um, you know, so sometimes they're from dancers. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see that. Oh, geez. Okay, that was quick. Yeah. Is this is this this is uh tell tell me about this one. So this one is um, slightly bigger. So this is a uh, 24 by t uh, 18, I think. Okay. And um, it's called Hitchhiker. And you can see it's like a little morphing a little bit where yes. you can't totally tell the, that it's the, um, you know, you don't even know it's a dress necessarily. A lot of people think this one's a heart. Um, ah. It's actually from a dress from a dancer, so it was twirling. Um, but I like that you're, it's- You're a dancer? No, I'm not a dancer, oh, okay, but I love okay. dance. I get, I get really inspired by dance, actually, when I see live performances. It oh, yeah? makes me want to go and paint. Really? Yeah. It, it me most, oh, I want to go be a dancer, but you're like, no, nah, I'm going to go home. And, <laughs> yeah, so. I'm not super coordinated. Are you, are you an athletic painter in that there's, a, is there a lot of uh, physical movement on your part to get this down? Or, you know, some people are a little doo doo doo, -doo but you know. You know, I, d I wasn't sure. And then I did like a, one of those time-lapse videos of me painting and oh, yeah? it looks like I'm headbanging because I like move my head a lot <laughs> and stuff. So. <laughs> Apparently, I do move around a lot. <laughs> yeah, look at these paintings, uh, folks, and you'll notice the soundtrack was done by Iron Maiden. So, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so and um, so you did you show these anywhere? Oh yeah, I've shown these um, different places. Yeah, um, so I've been in LA about a year and a half, and I've shown in Santa Monica, Echo Park. Right now, I have a show up in Echo Park at Pilates and Arts, um, and I've shown in Culver City, downtown LA. Wow, where did, where did you live before you came to uh, Los Angeles? Um, I was in the San Francisco Bay Area. Wow, that's, yeah. are they, is it, it's, was it just too expensive? That was part of it, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah. It's great. Like, I know rich people that are like, oh, it's just too expensive. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, I got to buy a mansion in LA because I can't afford an right. apartment. <laughs> in, it's, I mean, it's really crazy up there. It, yeah. What it's, happened? It's crazy. And also, it seems, I don't know. I mean, I think San Francisco still has the art scene. I was kind of down in Silicon Valley, and um, they don't really appreciate artists as much, it seems like. I've noticed so. that the, 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 um, the masters of reality who run our universe don't like the imagination of <laughs> other universes. That's really what it comes down to. The, 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 the engineering brain in Silicon Valley is just really tuned out to, um, to, the, to the where contemporary art can take you. you yeah, know? that's interesting. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah oof, man. So you, now you were, you were up there for quite a while. Mm -hmm. do you, are you still like, if somebody said, are you from, I'm from the Bay Area, do you? Oh, I hate it when people ask where I'm from because I've oh, lived in you're so many okay, different that's, places. Yeah, too many, okay. <laughs> um, right now, I'm actually really embracing LA. I yeah? love it here. Yeah. You're um, wearing Dodger blue. Oh, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you accidentally. didn't even know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay, okay. So, um, so um, let, let's see the next. Uh, let's see the next slide. And and we've got your dress series, but yeah, I have some other series too. There. We, oh, here we go. Okay, this one's my favorite. Yes. Oh, thank you. So, so um, what year is this from? So this is from 2016. Um, okay. It's from a series I started in 2015 called She Was Just a Dream. Uh -huh. And it's all about sort of memory loss, illusion, um, the things that you leave behind. Um, in my case, when I moved different places, but I think everyone can kind of relate with that topic. You, yes. Yeah. Different life stages, you leave things behind. And is, this is somewhere in, in Los Angeles? It is, yes. Okay, so, and that's really embracing LA. Like you came down here and you're just, you got the landscape. And this is like a very LA landscape. And it, to me, it's somewhat, and I know, I'm, I know a, every, and most of the viewers who look at this are probably gonna think the same thing. This kind of reminds me of a Diebenkorn structurally, at least. Yes. Yes. Big it's fan? It's so funny because I, I wasn't thinking about him consciously. Um, I did go to UC Berkeley and a lot of my professors studied with Demon Corn at Davis. And okay. So I don't know if it like filters down because I would t say like one of my influences is Edward Hopper. And then since I've moved to LA and started making these, it's like everyone sees Demon Corn. So oh, okay. I love it, but it wasn't on purpose. You know, because Demon Corn, he did the Berkeley series and then yeah. he moved to LA, did the Ocean Park series. So yeah. you kind of followed in his footsteps Apparently. there. Apparently. Yeah. So no, I mean, structurally, yeah. now, um, do you consider yourself to be more compositionalist? I mean, what, 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 is, what influences your color? Uh, what influences my color? I don't know. Um, I love color. Are you trying to be, um, I mean, are you trying to follow, like, based on the photos you took? Are you, are you trying for some kind of photorealism here? Oh, no, 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 no. I make my own colors. You're I really mean, taking liberties. I am, yes. Uh, I do, I mean, like, parts of it are accurate, but in this case, most of this series, I was um, trying to make each of the pieces, like, monochromatic. So this is the sort of blue-gray one. I have a green one, a sort of white one. Um, and that was to go along with the idea of it being memory. Like, you know how when you go back to a place that you haven't been to in a long time, it's never the same. You know, like your memories aren't 
real. The ser <laughs> well, what was it? The the was it Proust? Ooh, geez, if it's not Proust, don't sue me. But he said that that um, there we never experience happiness. It's it only exists as a memory. Uh huh. Yeah, but uh -huh. then but then we never remember driving by these um, kind of bland places. Right. You know, unless like you own that property. Right. Like nobody even sees it. You know. Yes. So um, and so much of LA is about being seen and the glamour and you know, you know yeah. that that sort of thing. That this nobody would ever consider this to be an LA landscape unless they've been here. Once you've been here, you're like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> my bank's right around the corner from that place, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, but tell me about the, the, the chain link is broken and mm -hmm. there's, there's, is that a ribbon, part of a dress? Yeah, part of a dress um, I have. So they all have, in this series, they all have a discarded um, garment. So it's like a bold um, escape, is that it? Ooh, I like that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I think you can read anything into it. See people, everyone who looks at it sees something different. Okay, so, so it's a bit of a psychological um, viewer litmus. Yes. Okay. Yes. Definitely. Great, great, great. Um, um, uh, we've got more. I know we have at least one more artwork, and this is the same series. It is. A so lot, mo is much more color different. saturation. Oh, this is yes. a different series. No, no, it's the same series, but see, this is what happened when I moved to LA. Like the, that first one was sort of a transition piece, uh -huh. and then this piece, it's like the light in LA completely changed yeah, what I was okay. doing. Um, so that's kind of what I'm talking about when I'm moving my Flawless series. I think this series is moving as well. Look, we're out on the patio. This yeah. looks like we're on the patio. I love <laughs> it. And this is actually my studio building too, so oh, I feel really? very at home. <laughs> Where's where your studio? It's in Glassell Park. Glassell Park. Yes. And you, you don't live in your studio though? No, I You drive in, to work every day. I <laughs> do, yeah, yeah. I live over in Eagle Rock. You live so. in Eagle Rock. Mm -hmm. You have a studio in Glassell Park. Those are close. all kind of kind of, yeah, you know, North decent East neighbors. LA, you know. And after you've been in the Bay Area, everything's affordable, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you could be in Beverly Hills going, oh, this place is so cheap. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so um, now you, you said you, you just showed in Echo Park. Uh-huh, yeah. But, but um, you have something coming up, too. I do. So actually, I'm going back to the Bay Area. I'm uh -oh. really excited. <laughs> just for a show, though. For a show, okay. yeah. So okay. I'm in the um, um, Startup Art Fair in San Francisco. Oh, um, Ray Beldner's Fair. Yes. Wow. Yes. Um, so I went to the LA one. It was here like in January. You showed at the Startup Art Fair in January here in Los Angeles. No, I didn't show there. I just participated. I just um, attended it, and then I thought, oh wow, this is fantastic. And um, when I went, I heard about the San Francisco one. I have a bunch of you know people I want to reconnect with in the Bay Area, so I thought ah. it'd be a good opportunity to go up there. Um, and I'm really happy I got accepted because it's quite actually they said it was the most competitive year. So. It's it's. I was on the committee for one of them. Uh -huh. I think I think I've done it twice now. And I'm on the advisory committee to start our oh. art fair, and um, and this was not. I, I booked you. I booked you because I like your art. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but the fact that you're in this fair that I'm on the advisory committees, that's uh, it's a small art world after all. Yeah. But um, what I what I uh, what I like about it is um, when when we went through like all the the images to get in, it's like, you know, we were not nobody no goofy people were getting in. You know, uh -huh. it was going to be like let's get some serious art. We want to appeal to uh, you know people who are looking for art at a higher, like a higher caliber. Uh -huh. So well, yeah. that's great. No, I'm really excited. Oh, and I m should mention that's the last weekend of April. So April 28th through the 30th. April 28th through the 30th yeah. in the Bay Area. Yeah, in San Francisco. In San Fr in the yeah. city of San Francisco. Yeah, it's actually in the Marina District. So it's a really pretty area. Oh, yeah? It's at this Hotel Del Sol, which I haven't been to, but I've heard is really cool. So, oh, that's cool. And they take that's over great. the ho whole hotel and then it's oh, just no, no, art. No, no. If you booked a room there, <laughs> out, unless you've got paintings, out. Yeah, so, <laughs> exactly. So cool. And you've got a built-in yeah. audience there with all your you know, you have a collector base there, so you, yeah. okay, great. So, well, um, love the art. Yeah. Christine Rasmussen, thank you for being on Modern Art Blitz. Thank you so we'll much. We'll be back right after this.